Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on our channel. Today we'll be unboxing TicWatch E. So this is a smartwatch from a company called Mobboy. If you have been following kickstarter.com, you will know that Mobboy had launched TicWatch and TicWatch 2 previously. So they went on to become highly successful campaigns. Similarly, TicWatch E and TicWatch S are their new offerings which was on Kickstarter and right now it's available on Amazon and on their own website. So here we have the TicWatch E. The watch looks really nice. Uh, let's keep it aside and take a look inside the box. So we get a magnetic charger. So this is the proprietary charger which can be used only for the TicWatch. So make sure you don't lose it or order an extra pair on their website. The charger has a flat cable which prevents it from getting tangled. Looking inside the box, we also have the manual on how to use the watch. Here, let's take a look at the watch itself, removing the plastic on the screen. So, I like this round minimalistic design of the watch. On the left, you have just one button and the body is made of a high quality polycarbonate material. On the back, we have the heart rate monitor and the charging point. the magnetic connector the watch is also ip67 rated which means it is water and dust resistant so you can use the watch while doing workout or in rain but not in swimming pool meanwhile let me power on the device and then discuss other design aspects tick watch e comes with a changeable straps so the straps which are made of rubber could have been better but still for the price you are paying i think it is okay so these straps can be interchanged with the uh, other straps from the store or even you can use the straps from tick watch too the watch has a nice 1.4 inch oled display it comes with 512mb ram and 4gb rom the watch is powered by mediatek chipset and has built in gps mic and speaker So on the right you can see the mic which you can use for talking or activating the Google Assistant. Unlike the previous Tick watches, this one comes with Android Wear. It is a good move by the company to have these watches run on Android Wear and not on their proprietary OS because this gives you access to the Google Play Store and the large collection of applications. Let me quickly run through the setup here. Finally we are all set to use the Tick Watch E. So this is the default watch face that we have and it's just a minimalistic face with battery indicator. I have just connected the watch to Wi-Fi and not Bluetooth and still you can see the watch is picking up notifications from my mobile for apps like Twitter, WhatsApp, etc. So when you swipe up from the bottom you can see the notifications and at the end you can just clear them all. So here is a quick tutorial. You access the applications by pressing the button on the left. So here you can see applications like agenda, calendar, contacts, some fitness apps, flashlight. The one thing I notice is the UI is very smooth and seriously I did not expect it to be so smooth on a MediaTek chipset. You can rearrange the applications by holding them down and then dragging wherever you want. Swiping down from the top gives you the toggles to either switch on airplane mode or the notification mode, the settings or the brightness. In the settings you have various options. Let us check the system information. So in the about you can see the watch name and the serial number. When you go to version you can see that This runs on Android Wear 2 and Nougat 7.1.1. Swiping to the left, you get access to different watch faces. So you can select any watch face and even change the element or the theme style for that particular watch face. You can access some more watch faces on the Mobboy application or even on Android Wear application. There is also a heart rate sensor. which can be helpful for people 
in sports or other physical activities to measure their heartbeat and collect other statistics. You also have the Google Assistant built in in the watch. You can either access the Google Assistant by pressing and holding down the button on your left or by activating OK Google keyword. And with the help of the Google Assistant you can schedule reminders, ask for directions or ask for playing specific songs. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for a detailed review of the TicWatch E. I might also be doing a comparison between TicWatch S and TicWatch E. Do not forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked our video and also subscribe to our channel.